What's up guys, it's Lou from UnboxTherapy.com and today we're looking at the Canon EOS 60D Digital SLR. Some of you may know that to this point I've been shooting on the Canon T2i and I've been wanting to upgrade for a while, finally getting around to it. So here is the warranty for the 60D and something I always like to mention is that Canon gives you a Canada US warranty, so continent wide whereas Nikon will only give you a Canada or US warranty, not both. So we had our installation discs as well as our instruction manuals, which I probably won't ever have to look at. I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything, I'm just saying these are pretty straightforward to use at this point. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got a video cable, standard definition video cable, and this pisses me off. I mean, you spend a thousand bucks on a body, I think they can give you an HDMI cable or HD AV cable. It's about time. Come on, Canon. You know, Nikon's the same. Both of them need to smarten up. We'll put the body to the side for now and get to that in a second. First, we'll finish with the accessories included in the box. Here's the battery. And of course, it's different from the T2i battery. It's a bigger one. But this means I can't use my T2i batteries in this model, so... Those will have to uh, go up for sale along with the T2i. Here's the EOS 60D neck strap. That'll probably never be installed in my case. I use the camera in a studio environment more often than not. Next we have our USB cable. These come with pretty much everything these days. It's a mini USB to USB. No big stink. There you go. And the last thing to look at is the battery charger. This one is also a little different than the one I received with my T2i. Instead of having a power cord coming out of it, it's got the flip-out style prongs. I guess it's a little better for travel, but a little, little less versatile as far as where you place it. Um, so here's the body, and it's heavier than the T2i or the T3i for that matter, but that's because it's a little bit more rugged. And it's larger, which I like because the T2i felt puny in my hands. So it's got a slightly better grip on it. Slightly different rubber they're using. And of course, the articulating LCD, which is fantastic for getting shots in strange angles. We've also got this second adjustment wheel so we can modify shutter speed and f-stop on the fly real quick. So we'll go ahead and insert this battery and see if it's got any charge on it, although I doubt it. So I was right, it shipped with no power. I'll have to go ahead and charge that before I go through the menus. But as you can see, there are a lot more physical buttons on this model than the T2i or T3i. You've got this locking selector as well, and dedicated on-off switch, so you can leave it in the same mode all the time. There's that new grip I was talking about. Here's our connectors, mic, HDMI, AV out, and a plug for a remote. There's that second wheel I mentioned earlier. This is a big deal for me. When you're shooting stills in manual mode, you need two adjustment dials in order to work quickly. And my T2i didn't have it and I really missed it. Lastly, we've got the articulating screen, which will be nice to use. As always, make sure to visit the channel and hopefully you'll subscribe.